The Lord be with you. And God's blessings to you as we continue through the month of June. And looking at our third part of our mission statement, the idea that we, one in mission, we go. And going can be a rather uh, frenetic, active, energized movement out. But sometimes our most effective going is to those that are closest to us. And, uh, and my thought today is that we go by, really, by staying, by abiding. And the scripture that I would have you listen to today and be fed by is from John chapter 8. These are words of Jesus. If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. First of all, Jesus saying in John also, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So the truth has set us free. Jesus, the truth, carrying all of our sins, dying upon the cross, rising from the dead, and forgiving us fully and completely, and giving to us forever and ever home in heaven with him. And while we await that, as we are going there, we're doing so by, by staying, by abiding in his word. And so, as we are one in Christ, and one in ministry, and one in mission, we continue to gather and grow and go grounded in, empowered by God's Word. When we go, we don't leave behind Christ and the presence and His promise and the power of His Word. In other words, the kingdom of God, the rule and reign of Jesus that is ours in word and sacrament. So we go by staying. We go by abiding, by remaining in His Word, in God's presence, in or at Jesus' feet in worship. So, if we are not grounded there, if we are not abiding, abiding in his word, standing in his word, then, then it doesn't matter where we're going to go for him because he's the one that empowers us to go. So I just bring that little devotional thought for you today, that blessing from God through his word today, to be reminded, to remain in his word, to abide in his word, to continue to, to grow in his grace empowered by his word. And then in all the places that we go, to those closest to us, and wherever it is that we've got opportunity to shine Christ's life, and his light, we do so by the power of his word. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life, we thank you that you have set us free. We thank you for the full and free forgiveness that is ours as part of your family. We rejoice to know that as we go, we do so by remaining, abiding, living constantly, in your presence, by the power of your word. So bless us as we do that, and as we live this day, and as we go from here, and continue to share your love. Jesus, we pray this in your name. Amen. God's rich blessings to you. God be with you till we meet again.